Okay, Dr. Hubner here, Natural Transplants, and I'm here with Francesca. Francesca is here for a hair transplant due to traction alopecia. And Francesca, you've had traction, or you've had hair loss in this area for a while now. Yes. I understand. Okay, how long has it been, and when did you first start noticing your hair loss? Um, it's probably been about 10 years ago. Okay. It's just gotten worse. Okay. And did you have a history of, you know, braids or weaves or any tight hairstyles? Yes, braids, okay. weaves. Okay, okay. And uh, how did you find, you know, natural transplants? What was your research like? You know, for other women that are looking to maybe do this, what is your process like? And how did you um, finally pull the trigger? I went on YouTube and mm -hmm. I investigated. I watched the reviews. I listened yeah. to a lot of women talk about how great it was and how their hair grew back. Yeah. So that what prompted me to call and get the appointment and fly out from Oklahoma and get it done. Awesome. Well, we're really excited to have you today. And we're going to be looking at, you know, stopping in, doing a couple videos throughout the process today to kind of show people what your experience is like. Um, now, we did shave the area in the front, and I'll put some pictures so you guys can see what it looked like just before we shaved. But there really wasn't a lot of hair in the front. Um, certainly not enough to where she felt like she could put her hair back. Um, and you've been sort of using a, a straightening <coughs> or straightener or relaxer in your hair. Flat iron. I don't, oh. It's natural and I just use flat iron, but there's only one style to wear. Gotcha. To cover. Gotcha. So as you can see, her area on the side is really far back here. Uh, as I explained to her, we're going to hopefully get a lot. We, obviously, we can't use any hair on the side because there is none. So we're going to really try to make up for that length of the strip that we're going to get based on elasticity. So. We're going to go for it today, Francesca. I'm really excited, and thank you for paying it forward and showing other women uh, what your experience is like. Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks. Okay, here with Francesca, Dr. Hubner. So normally with these videos, as you guys know, we kind of do videos throughout the whole process. But for Francesca today, she basically slept through almost the entire thing. Uh, so you got a little bit of Valium in the very beginning, uh, only half the dose actually, but then she fell asleep and then woke up and it was over. So I didn't want to disturb her and wake her up and say, hey, how was it going? Francesca though, how was your day? What do you think of uh, the process today? Um, it was okay. I didn't really, it was a little bit of pain when they stuck me to know me, but that was it. Yep. It wasn't that serious. So. Yep. And she's, she's talking about the anesthesia in yeah. the beginning, right? So they do a little shots on the side and the back. Yep. So I want to show people what we got. I'm very happy with the coverage that we were able to achieve for her based on the size of her strip and, and the area we had to cover. So you can already see her new edges where they're going to be. And very, very happy about things. So. Thanks again, Francesca. Right now, are you in any pain at all? Or? Nope. Okay, good. So we talked about the, the uh, post-op stuff. You have my cell phone number if you have any questions. And really looking forward to now your results. So as uh, we talked earlier, nothing will grow for about three to four months. It takes a full year to get your results. And the expectation would be about 30 to 40% additional density in those areas. So looking forward to seeing your results, Francesca. And thanks again for showing other, other women. Okay. <laughs> Call us now, 844-327-4247, and ask about our Hue and Hue Plus procedures, which move more hair than ever before. Hope to hear from you soon.